previously on Quantum Conundrum. Do we have books here? Beyond Fluffy and Heavy. Manfield Pulsar. Manfield's Paul Manfield Pulsar again. Man Really? Wait. Okay, this one is the same. I'm assuming this one is also the same because the site is similar, yeah. Two copies of the same book right next to each other. They're all like, like punny. Uh, you have two copies of the same book here. Well, I. How many copies do you have of every book? As I mentioned. Dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Yeah. Pulsar. You can continue talking, you know. The one that may or may not be Call of Cthulhu. There's probably another This book. is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Okay. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Uh, I'll need to tune that later. I think Dolly doesn't like me. I guess... I kind of forgot about, like, the. Do well, I didn't forget about Dolly. But it, it suddenly kind of puts things into perspective. Why is there so many copies of, like, the same book? Probably. <laughs> because, uh. Dolly, do 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 Dolly has been a naughty girl. <laughs> Literally recreating a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of, uh... Mm. Yep, I figured. Wait. Was the liquid in the bird blue also? When I was in the fluffy dimension? I didn't notice. any like <laughs> hmm. like dolly technology powered by uh, the yellow stuff bird also powered by yellow stuff Dodo, yellow stuff is blue, which is an observation that I'm going to keep for later. I'm going <laughs> to... It might come soon, but who knows. Ah, that's my favorite chair. Oh, and that one too. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. I thought you were talking about the fish. <laughs> um.
All right. I'm being stalked by uh, the interdimensional creature. Um. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. I mean... Take it as permission to do it elsewhere. Yeah. The m is is there? A Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. <laughs> Which kind of makes me wonder. <clears throat> Has resetting the glass... <clears throat> like, like, is that line right there a line that only exists because of the glitch nature of me pressing the button caused caused the glass to like oops instead of uh, instead of uh, be staying broken it, it reset the glass. No, it's part of the puzzle. I remember. I remember. Okay. Yes. Yes. This. I remember. Thank you. Voice line. Here, on top of it, and then... Okay. <clears throat> Part of me was like, is it a glitch? Is it a feature? Well, like, it might have been a glitch, maybe at one point during development, but it definitely is a feature. It's part of the puzzle-solving solution. So. Oh, silly me. Silly, silly me. 
like that. Oi! There you are. Like, that creature is also... Like, I mean, that creature is interdimensional, so technically, I am as interdimensional as it right now when I'm wearing the glove. Can I use the chair? Yes. Okay. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or mm -hmm. Ike. Thank you. It's been spying on, on me this whole time. I was just waiting for the introduction. Um... It's not as yellow. As here. Though I don't know if it's because the environment is completely white that's making it less, uh... again. Dolly, 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 dolly. Also, are the characters in this world built like this? Because, uh... Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. Okay. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. Oh. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Oh. The I, I was literally just thinking about the suit of armor. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. Mm -hmm. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the underground railroad. This machine single-handedly won the Civil War. <laughs> not, not really. Medieval times. Who's the artist? Medieval times. The Civil War. I made my own modifications to my great-grandfather's designs. The current Dolly specifications do not require any raw materials. For example, Dolly converts energy from the radioactive science juice directly into matter. I never did sort out why she makes so many copies of things. Oh well, you can never have too many safes. Or chairs. Or, or books. Um, coffee tables. Or books. So many copies of the same book. So many copies. I do kind of find it funny that, like, some of the things that you would probably assume that they're like, uh, yeah, a, a, a bug or like a thing that you typically see in video games are given reason in this sense. Like, oh yeah, it's a way to solve the puzzle. The glass resets. Oh yeah, why is there so many book uh, copies of the same book? Well, it's most likely Dolly just like, blah, blah all the copies of the book and our uncle is just like placing them everywhere is like oh, dolly in case you're wondering you turned on the fan please you don't need me to explain that to you why is there a cat
Okay. Thank you. a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Did I... I feel like I've heard an awkward noise in a different location. Citadel. Of Cthulhu. I'm just going to refer to them to, to them by. Uh, oh, is that a new one? Heart of Dark Matter. Okay. Iron Mask. This one is... 2 kilowatt... <laughs> 2 kilowatt of Mark a Mockingbird. Okay. Okay. Well done. Well done. Standard issue conveyor belts. Yeah. So much easier than carrying things yourself. Oh yeah, okay. Wooden planks. Okay. So, I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. So many pulsar copies. Have you not been reading your books? Is that the reason why Dolly keeps like printing out new ones? Like, hey, hey, these are my recommendations. Why are you not reading them? Not what we were supposed to do. Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. It's yeah. bad enough the glass needs to be tidied up. Also, it's really thick glass. It's very thick glass that's able to easily be broken by a sofa. I'm just, I'm just saying. So only one.
Okay. I don't know if I need it, but uh, considering that I'm able to grab it... <gasps> I don't need it? Why did I get two of them then? Strange. I guess I, I guess I had a spare or whatever. Only one. Okay, good. Fluffy hair, Grandma. thinking of this one. This one looks familiar. Here's a painting of my grandmother, Nana Triangle, on my mother's side. They say she kept an acute awareness into her golden years, but if you ask me, I always thought she was rather obtuse. Mama Triangle on my mother's side. <laughs> Implying that Triangle is a matriarchal name? But that can't be it, right? I'm pretty sure the grandpa story also kind of implied the opposite. Or does he... <laughs> like... You can't trick me, uncle. gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. Like, the humans in the, the fluffy dimension have everything that's fluffy-er. Like, fluffier hair. The cat's the same, though. Interesting. You would assume that that cat would be a little fluffier. He's wearing a fluffier costume. Anyway, um, all of these paintings were all done by the same artist. Nice. I don't know if I need you, but, uh, <laughs>
perhaps. No. No, that's gonna close, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh boy. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh.